welcome back to the channel. On this video, I want to talk about the bike lane, which is right here. You can see it there. And I brought along with me today a measuring tape because I wondered how wide this is a good width uh, bike lane in my area. I wondered how wide they actually are. So this one here is actually a pretty good one, fairly wide. Not all of them are even this wide, but this is probably the best one we have for that, for width. So I thought, well, how wide is it? So I got my measuring tape and I'm measuring from the inside of that uh, line there to the, just before the, I'm going to call it the gutter side here because we're not going to count that. This uh, section here we're not going to count. So it looks like, you see that 58 inches or 4 foot 10. So I did some looking up to see what the average width of a bike lane is supposed to be. And it said from 4 to 6 feet. So I guess this qualifies at 4 foot 10. And then it said the preferred, when I did my looking up, um, it said the preferred width is six and a half feet. Well, geez, I don't know anywhere that has six and a half feet of uh, a bike lane. I mean, this, like I say here, is a nice wide bike lane at four foot ten. But uh, what got me thinking about this, and I'm going to hop on the Ride One Up Cafe Cruiser, as you see it right there, and do a ride and talk a little bit more about it but what got me wanting to do a video on it is I wondered about the folks that ride trikes for example or if they had a sidecar on their bike how do they manage in some of these bike lanes when they're not all that wide like I say this one is actually a pretty good one but not all of them are this wide and so when I started doing some searches and looking up as to how wide they really are, uh, you know, we're too close really to cars. And that I think bothers a lot of people, uh, especially when you're trying to dodge debris in here. I don't know how the rest of you uh, do it when you ride, but I've had to often try to avoid debris and sometimes you can't avoid it because you can't go out of your lane here too much because you don't want to get hit by a car so um yeah so let me know in the comments what is the width you got where you are there for riding in the bike lane how wide is your bike lane do you know and do they vary like here I mean, some of them are not even, there's no, not even a bike lane, so that's the worst of all. Or there's only like a little shoulder that's about a foot. And there's no way you can keep your bike in there, you know, no matter what. So, but gee, at six and a half feet, that's about two feet more than I just showed you that this lane is here. So... I don't think there's really any standard size. Like they vary depending on where you're at. But uh, in my area here, that's what you get right there as I just showed you. But um, that's actually not bad. Uh, like I say, it's four foot 10. But when you got to uh, dodge debris though, um, it's not four foot 10. It becomes like a foot. It's almost like sometimes being on a tightrope. I mean, you can just run the stuff over, but then you get flat tires and... I mean, there's glass and there's uh, tires, shredded tires in there and everything else, you know. Acorns and... And sometimes you get, in the fall, and I'm sure you have it where you are too, you get the leaves in there and you don't know what's under the leaves. So it's just a 
mess. But um, yeah, I thought I would talk about that today because what if you do have a trike and the trikes are wide, right? I gotta think the trike is, what, at least three feet wide, probably? Depending on which bike you have, I'm gonna say gotta be three feet, right? Pretty close to that. Maybe somebody knows and can chime in what, I know they're gonna vary a bit, but what approximate sizes are we looking at for trikes? And I don't know how you would ever ride with a sidecar. Uh, you can't really ride in a bike lane, I wouldn't think with that. So if you were to ever purchase a sidecar for your bike, I don't think you'd be able to ride in the bike lane. Interesting topic though, and I'd like to hear your feedback on the bike lane. What would be the ideal width? I mean, that six foot five, or six and a half feet, I should say, um, doesn't sound that bad, but I don't know where you see that. I've not seen that around me, around here. Uh, I guess uh, some people are going to say you're lucky to have bike lanes at all, which is true. Uh, we don't have them everywhere here, but we have some of them. And uh, where we don't have them, like right on these um, residential streets, yeah, I can understand that. But on the more, what do we call them, semi-main streets, um, if there's no bike lane, I think, and it's, you know, in that 25, 30 miles per hour, I think we should just ride in with the traffic even up to 35 that's why i'd like to see a uh, class four go up to 35 miles an hour that would be perfect then you could ride right in with the cars and uh and not have to worry about getting clipped sometimes uh those big trucks come by you know the the big rigs and uh they'll about blow you off the uh, out of the bike lane or they uh some trucks with the big wide mirrors you know they can stick out quite a bit and uh, nobody wants to get knocked off their bike with a mirror i don't i don't think you do either but um interesting topic though the bike lanes uh, i mean i have a few problems with the bike lanes and uh i'd prefer much prefer um, my favorite thing would be the uh, designated uh, bike lanes completely on their own, off the road, like the sidewalk. Um, but it's probably not going to happen in my lifetime, unfortunately. But I hope it becomes a thing someday for, for the next generation and the ones to follow that. All right, well, that's gonna do it for this video. I just wanted to talk a little bit about the bike lane and I wanted to measure it and get a, a measurement as to how wide the bike lane is here. And when I did the look up of four to six feet and then the preferred width is six and a half feet, uh, I thought, wow, let me go and measure what we've got here uh, close to where I am. And so that's what we got four foot ten inches so 58 inches so that's going to do it for this video hey if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button if you want to be uh, subscribed to the channel and uh, help support us thank you very much for doing that just hit that subscribe button if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified and if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video go ahead and leave that in the comments below once again, thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time, keep your wheels on the road. See you later.